Authorities had a pretty good idea of where the man went under based on witness accounts. It was there they concentrated their search, and it was there his body was found. A white buoy marked the spot where witnesses last saw the 44-year-old Barrington man go under. It was there in about 40 feet of water his body was located. Now, divers entered the water of Stonehouse Pond around 8 o'clock Wednesday morning, contending with practically zero visibility and a silty bottom. Then, just before 11, the search came to an end. Now, the man had gone swimming with a friend Tuesday evening, attempting to swim across the pond, but went under and never resurfaced. There have been more than a half dozen drownings this year in New Hampshire, and Fishing Game says there is often a common denominator. We see individuals who overestimate their swimming abilities and oftentimes underestimate the water conditions. Um, you know, whether or not that was the case right here, I'm not 100% sure, but clearly he wasn't able to swim all the way across this water body. Now, the lieutenant adds that people also often underestimate the difference between swimming in a pool where everything is controlled and swimming in a natural body of water. Now, the victim's name is still being withheld at this time, pending notification of next of kin, but that should happen by the end of the day. Reporting live in Barrington, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.